Hi there. Now, in this question, we're asked to calculate the coefficient of skewness for the data that we've had. And you'll notice I've written out the results that we have established so far in the previous parts of the question. So if you'd like to just work out this coefficient of skewness, and we've also got to make a comment on it, just give you a moment to pause the video. And when you come back, I'll take you through the solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So all we've got to do then is just fill in our values. I'm just going to write an intro though and just say coefficient of skewness. And what we find is it's three times then the mean, which is 76, minus the median. I don't look like a six, it does now I hope. 76 minus the median, which is 75.4. And all of that is divided by the standard deviation, which we worked out was 21.265 and so on. And if you work this out, what you end up with is 0.0846 and so on. Now, when it comes to skewness coefficient, if this is zero, then there is no skewness. The distribution would be symmetrical. If it's a positive number, then it's going to be positive skew. If it's a negative number, negative skew. Now, clearly it's a positive number, but it's very close to zero. So what we've got then is essentially very little positive skew. Okay, very little positive skew. And I'm also going to say that it is almost symmetrical because it's close to zero so it's almost symmetrical and that should get you the marks okay 